Hey y'all, you ready to bathe in the moolah? Well, get ready. I have something in store for you. Dive in, baby. Dive in. <laughs> Let's get it. Welcome, I'm your girl, Taisha Brown. Thank you so much for clicking on this channel if it's your first time. Welcome, if it's your second time. Welcome, third, fourth, or fifth. Welcome, I appreciate any time that you land on my video. So what I do on this channel is I provide you with knowledge and tools to help cover your passion, build a business that is in line with your purpose. So I give you the tools and the resources to do just that. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. You will not be disappointed. I'll give you tutorials, information, just a whole gamut of things on this channel. Now let's dive in to today's talk. To start an Etsy shop and make your first sale. The first thing you're gonna do is you gotta pick a name for your store. Yes. But don't just pick any name. I want you to pick a name for your store that will elicit some type of emotion out of your buyer. Make sure that the name aligns with the products that you have in your store, ties into it, and or if you can do both, it'd be good. It, it speaks to your mission, the mission of your business. It speaks to who you are as a person. It all should be one cool. Make sure that name helps tells your story. Storytelling is very important when it comes to business and it's often um, overlooked. You won't be disappointed. I'll talk more about it a little later. Secondly, don't be afraid to get yourself out there. Your brand is everything. This is something that uh, I struggled with because I'm a professional and I didn't want my colleagues to find out about my little video YouTube channel, or I didn't want them to see me posting about my business on social media because I'm friends with people that I work with, you know, in the nine to five uh, arena or in my, my circle, my social circle professionally. And I didn't want them to see it. I was thinking they would think, what the heck is she doing? She has a great job. and. What is she piddling around with this for? You know, I was afraid of being judged. And finally I said, the heck with it. I'm going to do it. This is something that's been calling out to me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to share my YouTube channel. I'm going to post on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. And if they don't like it, the heck with them. It's all good. If they do, awesome. You know, so don't be afraid to get out there and share your uh, store with your friends, family, and strangers. I found that strangers are my best buyers. They really are. And I appreciate them. I appreciate anybody who supports them. Okay, one more thing about Brandon, just make sure like your color scheme is the same across platforms. If you can get the same name, make sure they're the same uh, across all platforms. If not something similar, because it may be taken or whatever, uh, especially if it's a popular type of niche or whatever. But just try to keep that consistency there. Something that I use is Canva to for my brand uh, colors, my, um, not only the colors, but I can, like the color palette, also like my fonts, everything is saved into Canva. If you have not heard of Canva, it's a free uh, graphic, graphic design uh, software that you can use. I have the pro version and you can also get the pro version. I have it free for one month right now on my code below. Uh, just know that of course I do get some type of compensation if you decide to go ahead and buy the pro version, but test it out, see if you like it. If not, just stay with the free one. <laughs> you ain't losing nothing, test it out for free, right? One other thing is I don't want you to burn yourself out I'm trying to get on all platforms. Find out where your target audience is. Is it TikTok? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Just start with one. You're only one person. Start with one and then, you know, eventually you can get to the other.
platforms or if you can hire someone to do your social media uh, content in the future you can do so but just one step at a time okay on Etsy on your store page you have the option to tell people more about you so tell your story on that store page what is your why why do you choose to start an Etsy shop and, and there's also a graphic that you can put on your banner your banner for your store fill it out colors talk to it talks to speak to your brand as well okay let, let, you can do this you got this i'm rooting for you oh yeah fourth thing is your keys your tags or seos you hear everybody on the planet earth talking about this when it comes to any type of business so it's just that important and especially tags and keywords for etsy because it is a search engine and i will create a video that goes into depth about creating these tags, these keywords, these search engines, and I'm gonna show you how I use them in my shop to this very give you right now. It's just look at what other shops that are similar to you have. What's the name of their listing? You know, scroll down to the bottom and see what type of tags come up at the bottom of it. It's called hacking, not stealing. Cause we don't steal over here. We not thieves. No, 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 no. This is called hacking. Let's see what the other guys doing. It's working for them. This is a best selling uh, listing. What are they doing? So I can hack that. You know. Fifthly, after you have done all your planning and all your research, girl, guy, you gotta get out there and just get it. Post your first listing. You're posting that first listing. Make sure that you fill out as much as you could possibly can. The description. They're gonna have to be things on there. What type of scale is it? Uh, what colors are available? Variations. Fill out as much as possible. The thing that I put in my descriptions, I put like frequently asked questions. What's the processing time? What's the shipping time? Do I do refunds, exchanges, um, things of that sort? The material, what it's made out of. Uh, colors available, sizes available. I put all that in my description. And you could also put it in your pictures if you have the ability to do so. But I did find out, everybody don't look through the pictures. I had somebody contact me on that. Write a picture in the description. Thank you. And lastly, your shipping. There's, there are a few options with shipping on Etsy. Some people have a print on demand uh, store which their shipping is held, handled by like a third party. And then you have other people that actually do their own shipping. So make sure that you look and see and get familiar with the shipping options in Etsy. You can utilize your uh, post office to get some free mailers. I believe it's for priority only. You can utilize uh, Etsy and Amazon itself as a, uh, a, a buyer to get mailers like bubble mailers that may be specific to your color, your brand, all in line there. And something else that I recommend, if you don't have a print on demand store, if you don't have the ability to put <clears throat> your something, add something to it, then it's not gonna work for you. But be sure, especially on Etsy, there are sellers who have like cards where you can put your Instagram handle, your name of your store, your website if you have one, or the website to the Etsy store, you can put a coupon code for them as a thank you um, and make it like really cute but in line with your brand. You have to check that out. If you could add that, it'd be great. You know, if it's something down the road you want to do, that's cool too. If it's a certain color of wrapping paper or just something extra that the buyer would not be expecting, it can help your reviews. Another thing, you're going to need some reviews to help that, that store about so um, this is just a bonus. One thing that I would do was I would reach out to my buyer, see if they how would, how the item was, if everything was good, and ask uh, if they wouldn't mind to write a review. And I would just message them through Etsy. So yeah, yeah. And I also uh, offer a mailing list for them to, a coupon for joining my mailing list. I put that in the description box. But I want to show you my, show you how, how a listing looks like. So I'm going to show you a listing and, and things that you need to, 
you know, uh, make sure that you add to your listing. So stay tuned. We're going to get into that right now. Hey guys, I'm now going to get into the actual listing for Etsy. So I'm in Etsy under shop manager. Over to the left, you see a few options, search, dashboard, listings, messages, orders and shipping, stats, financing, marketing, integrations, community help and settings, and my store, which is B Empowered Design. So check me out if you're on Etsy. Now, one thing I do want to mention is I want to mention to you all that I will go deep into each of these settings on separate videos. And you just let me know down in the comment section if that is something that you are interested in learning a little bit more about. Now, here's my listing. The title of my listing is Juneteenth Party Shirt. Blah, 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 blah. But where I got this from is I researched other similar products that were bestsellers and I looked at their name and a few of their names and kind of came up with my own based off those keywords that they had in their title of their listing. My primary image here is of people. I found that when I had actual people, models in my pictures, they sold more so it's something to think about and where i get my models from is placeit.net and i can also do a video on that you can get some free images or you can pay for it i pay for it because it opens it up a little bit bigger my primary audience is african-american and there are not a whole lot of african-american models that i can actually utilize in my photos and i found a great bit there on placeit Net, but they have Hispanic, white, everything, and different uh, topics as well as, as themes as such. So I think that you'll find some LGBTQ plus you will find uh, Independence Day theme, just a bunch of stuff uh, underneath though that particular um, app or service that you can use to gather your models. The second image that I have is just a plain white background displaying the black t-shirt. Now I found that clean, crisp photos work very well with Etsy. And this is what the actual t-shirt will actually look like if the buyer buys it in the color black. The color white, this is what the t-shirt will look like. And I have that option. And I have my size chart. I sell Bella Canvas shirts, 3001. And this is the size chart for it because I want individuals to know what the sizing is on it because I do not accept any exchanges, cancellations, or refunds. Thank you. This also has a video on it. Etsy tells me right here, buyers are loving listings with videos and that's based on analytics that Etsy has. So I place a video on there and I got this video from placeit.net. And just look, he's hip, he's cool. All the ladies love him and all the guys want to be him. Happy Juneteenth, baby. And then we're getting down into the listing details. My title tells the people that, hey, this is a made to order product. So it's not going to ship right away because this is custom. The category is t-shirts. The size option, mine is unisex. So I don't put a size there on this. And these are called attributes. What's the primary color? Black, secondary color, white, what type, clothing style. I put athletic. The occasion, I put birthday because people have birthdays every day and they're going to want a gift for their birthday. And Independence Day is the holiday because even though Juneteenth is a holiday, this is a recent uh, that Juneteenth became a holiday the day before the actual holiday. So Etsy has not updated this yet, but you need to get on it, Etsy. Do I need to make some calls? Okay. The sleeve length is short sleeve. The neckline for this particular shirt is crew. Be as specific as possible. I have my renewal set up on automatic. 
So four months after this, I initially listed, Etsy's gonna charge me another 20 cent to list it. 20 cents, not bad. You can put it on manual. The type, this is a physical product. If you have a digital product, you would then select digital. Now the description is where you wanna get into a little bit of details. I put the, the topic on my shirt um, again, and then I give a little bit of, hey, this is a soft cotton, it's a quality tee. It is rib, knit, collars, dual side seams, you know, what it's made out of. It runs true to size, retail fit. It has a tear away label. The size chart is in the photos, the available colors, black and white, and this is unisex. And I also mentioned to them that this free shipping to the US of A only, and also get down into those care instructions because this is where I was talking about the FAQs. I put as much information here so that I don't get a whole bunch of messages about how do you take care of it? When can I expect this product? Do you take returns, exchanges, and calculations? It's all in the description and I do not get any of those questions. Amen? So there you go. Processing time, the shipping time. I even put that you can expect delays, possible delays, due to COVID-19 and that is outside of my control. And the returns, exchanges, and cancellations, these are all made to order. And I'm not gonna accept any exchanges, returns, or cancellations. And I mentioned to you that I have an email list and I do put that here. And if they join my email list, there's a link to it, they can get a 15% off coupon just for joining. So when they join the list, I drop Anytime I drop new merchandise, I send that to them and I usually get them a coupon for being on my email list. I use a, a print on demand company called Printify. So I let them know, hey, I designed this, but my I have a print shop, Printify, that's actually going to do the printing and shipping for me. Section, I have sections for my store and this is the Juneteenth section. The tags. These tags, when I looked at similar listings, I actually, at the bottom of the listing, it will give you possible tags that people will be typing in to get to the item. And that is where I got that from. And I could show you, I'm going to show you that on another video, the materials, cotton and ink, the quantity, the SKU numbers I actually got from Printify. And my pricing is based on the size of the shirts. Because I hate to say it, the bigger the shirt, the more money it costs me to uh, produce that thing. So, and I end all of my prices in the number seven. I learned that from a, mar a marketing mentor of mine. The shipping, my ship, my shop does offer a free. I'll show you that in a minute. But here's the shipping profiles coming from the U.S. of A. The zip code, my processing time, it's, as long as it's low, people will mostly buy from you. If it's high, they won't. And um, I just put other for shipping carrier. Free shipping to the US of A. Everywhere else is not free shipping. Here it says, my shop offers a free, guarantee, free shipping guarantee if they order $35 or more, then Etsy will allow them to ship, not pay any shipping. So because of that, what I've done, anytime I list an item, I automatically put the cost of the um, the cost of the shipping into and any marketing. I, I think of all of that when I'm pricing my items and I will make a video on how I come up with the pricing of my items to kind of help you along as well. And yeah. I hope that this helps you. And if you like it, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments anything that you want me to do a video on in related relation to Etsy. I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already and share this video with someone. I appreciate you and I wish you all the best of luck on your Etsy journey. And if I can be of assistance in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out. Ciao for now.